Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss about protein purification, dialysis. Dialysis is a common laboratory technique which is widely used for removing contaminants from the solution. The dialysis works by selective and passive diffusion through a semi-permeable membrane. The dialysis technique is commonly used to remove small unwanted molecules such as salts, reducing agents like DTT and BME and other preservatives like sodium aside from a protein containing solution or any solution where the impurities or the salts and reducing agent which can interfere with the downstream processing. So dialysis technique can be used to remove such contaminants. Dialysis can also be used for buffer exchange and the buffer used for dialysis is called as the dialysate. Let's see the principle behind dialysis. The dialysis works by the principle of uh, diffusion. Diffusion is the migration of molecules randomly from areas of higher concentration to lower concentration until the equilibrium is reached. So the molecules will uh, migrate randomly from the higher stock concentration to the lower stock concentration until the equilibrium is attained. In dialysis, the migration of molecules occurs through a semi-permeable membrane which allows only small molecules to pass through and restricting the movement of large molecules like protein. So if you want to remove the salts from a protein, the protein containing solution, protein along with the salt solution uh, can be placed in a dialysis bag or a membrane and that can be dialyzed against a buffer. So the salt from the protein solution will move out from the membrane to the dialysate thereby removing the contaminants from the protein solution. The dialysis membrane is made up of uh, regenerated cellulose or cellulose ester and the molecular weight cutoff ranges from around uh, 1000 to 50,000 kilodaltons. The molecular weight cutoff is based on the pore size measured in Armstrong. For example, a uh, 10k molecular weight cutoff membrane has a pore size of uh, around 16 Armstrong and uh, this will retain proteins of 10 keta or higher. Salts and other molecules less than 16 Armstrong can freely pass through the membrane. Since the protein is a high molecular weight uh, than the salts, uh, the protein cannot pass through the pores of the membrane and that will be retained within the uh, membrane. Let's see the general procedure of uh, dialysis. Uh, for dialysis, uh, the first the membrane need to be uh, wetted and uh, the sample can be loaded on the uh, dialysis tubing or the dialysis bag and the dialysis uh, uh, can be done initially for 2 hours and after 2 hours uh, the dialysate need to be changed and again this can be continued for another 2 hours. As the uh, number of uh, dialysate buffer changes, uh, the uh, contaminant removal also greater number of contaminants get removed. So every, for example, for um, 2 ml or 1 ml of sample, 200 ml of the buffer is required uh, to dialyze against. So this will co also concentrate the or the, remove the uh, contaminants by 200 fold once the equilibrium is attained. So every buffer change will uh, reduce the uh, contaminant load by 200 fold. Let's see the uh, factors that affects the dialysis. Uh, there are certain factors which affects the dialysis. Uh, one is the temperature and the other is the concentration and molecular weight and the surface area and thickness of the membrane. The diffusion uh, ra rate of diffusion increases with the uh, increase in temperature. So the there will be faster uh, the dialysis process will be faster or the diffusion process is faster at room temperature than the uh, 4 degree because the migration of uh, molecules will be faster in the higher temperature. But we should also consider the, the stability of the protein, thermal stability of the protein need to be uh, considered when increasing the temperature. The uh, dialysis can also uh, affected by the concentration and molecular uh, weight. So the molecular, uh, the, con the higher concentration, the rate of diffusion will be faster and uh, the higher molecular weight the, molecule, uh, the molecules with higher molecular weight uh, protein, uh, the uh, diffusion rate will be slower as the higher molecular weight uh, proteins can clog the membrane. The rate of dialysis is directly proportional to the surface area and uh, inversely proportional to the thickness of the membrane. If you have a higher surface area, the diffusion rate will be faster. So the dialysis can be completed uh, faster. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.